Right now at 6, a bit of closure in a shooting that still haunts students at a local high school. A guilty plea in court by the teen who did the shooting, but this case is not over yet. Good evening. We begin a busy Friday with a local high school still healing after two students were shot back in September. But a major step forward today with a guilty plea by the teen who pulled the trigger. This morning, 15-year-old Jakari Taylor appeared in court to cop a plea in the case. You'll remember a teenage boy and girl were both hit by the gunfire in the hallway at Heritage High School. What's still to come is the price he'll pay for his plea. Ten of your size, Michelle Wolf was in court and has the latest developments for us tonight. 15-year-old Jakari Taylor says he's guilty. He didn't have much to say in court this morning other than he understands the six charges against him and that he's guilty. Taylor, who is 15 years old, admitted to pulling a gun in the school hallway last fall after a fight with another student, 17-year-old Cecil Outlaw. Police say there was an argument outside the cafeteria that resulted in Outlaw punching Taylor several times. School surveillance video caught the fight in its entirety. It was described in detail this morning in court as a DVD from the FBI was handed to the judge. That DVD shows Outlaw striking Taylor in the face and then Taylor pulling a gun and firing into a crowded hallway. A Heritage High School history teacher saw the fight and tried to break it up. He watched Taylor pull a gun and told Outlaw to run. Outlaw was shot several times as he tried to get away, laying on the ground until police arrived. Another student, a 17-year-old female, was hit by a bullet in the commotion. Taylor ran out of the school and threw his firearm in a trash can outside the building. He was later brought to police headquarters by his father, who was following the news and realized his son was involved. Taylor confessed to police with his mother present. Taylor is charged with two counts of malicious wounding, two counts of felony use of a firearm, and possessing and discharging a firearm on school property. No matter what the judge decides, Taylor will spend some amount of time behind bars. Taylor's family declined to comment. He's set to receive his sentence in August. In Newport News, Michelle Wolf, 10 on your side. And you can see all of our previous coverage of this story right now on wavy.com.